this Sunday I am doing a marathon. Uh, it's been, I think it's been eight years since my last marathon. Um, when I was 20, 21, I fell in love with long distance running to the point where I did six marathons in 18 months. And after that, I kind of fell out of love with running full stop. I kind of buried myself in a big hole in relations to um, in enjoying the actual process of running. Um, and it's only been a uh, the last couple of years that I've started to, you know, really enjoy it once again. Um, uh, eight years and um, my... Personal best is a two hours and 50 minute marathon and that was done at the Gold Coast. And also at the Melbourne, I did two, two, 50, uh, two, two hours and 50 minute, which uh, scarred me because the second one, the Melbourne one, I was on pace for a 2.45 and just blew up at the end. But um, I'm... Uh, I don't know, quietly confident about this marathon to go sub three hours. Although I've only had six weeks of pure marathon uh, specific training under my belt, um, which isn't a lot, which isn't a, a lot of time. But I actually do feel quite aerobically fit, and um, I feel like my um, work uh, for the last five, six years of just pure um, anaerobic, aerobic um, intensity and uh, conditioning work that I've been doing in the gym is going to pay off as well. Um, so I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite confident in relations to be able to hold a solid pace to give myself every opportunity to do a sub three hour. Although, for those of you who have done a marathon, would understand that, in my eyes, the marathon doesn't start until the 35 kilometer mark. You can do so much good work before that, within the first 35k, and um, uh, end up, you know, blowing up or not not have not been able to finish the marathon due to the fact that you haven't done the back end work. So I haven't, you know, done a lot of back end training. Um, my longest run is a 32 kilometer, but um, I've got a feeling my, my conditioning, my overall strength with my legs and uh, my core, uh, fingers crossed, will be able to produce the goods on Sunday. Um, so um, it'll be good up in Cairns, which is uh, um, far north Queensland. Um, be a little bit hotter than it is now in, in Brisbane, but um, it'll be great. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing Georgie do her first half marathon as well. I think um, between me and you, I think she's going to surprise herself to be honest. So um, really looking forward to it. Um, excited more than anything. And uh, yeah, watch this space. Hello. So we have T minus three days until the big event, the marathon and half marathon. Big event for me. I keep putting myself down by saying it's just a half marathon, but you know what? everything's relative and for some people a half marathon would be nothing and it would be a walk in the park um, for some people but honestly I've come from a background where I've grown up doing lots of sports athletics, netball, swimming, um, sprinting though not long distance. Funny thing is I literally ran probably my first five kilometers about, I'm gonna say six months ago now, when, 
and that was with James and then from there like I just kept increasing the distance and I was actually enjoying the process I was always scared of running long distances what I refer to as long distance um, because I've only ever been a sprinter anything over 200 meters I didn't want to know about it I guess I ran my five kilometers increase that to eight increase that to 10 increase that to 15 20 and then I ran my first 21 kilometers in training the other week so this half marathon is such an achievement for me and I just can't wait to be able to run across the finish line and say that I have ran a half marathon um, I am nervous because once again, due to my competitive nature, I have a time that I want to do. I want to do sub two hours, but I need to get that out of my head because if I don't do it, it's still an achievement and I still need to pat, pat myself on the back. And I said to James just the other day, like it's a starting point for me. We're going overseas and I'm sure there will be lots of um, running races, half marathons, marathons that I want to get involved in, that James will want to get involved in. So this is literally just the start. Um, whether or not I do well, it doesn't matter. Like it's a starting point for me to um, hit the ground running and just enjoy it. The reason that I said yes to doing this half marathon when James proposed the idea to me um, was because I have actually started enjoying the process of running and training for the half marathon. So. Yes, I didn't like long distance running um, up until six months ago, but having something to train towards is so exciting and being able to see your progress. And like I said, being able to complete those distances that I have always told myself that I can't do, it's so satisfying and, um, and it feels like you're really achieving something so it's just all about like pushing yourself and I guess like allowing myself to step outside of that comfort zone that I have been in with running um and just taking it slowly I guess like not pushing myself to do something that I can't do or I'm not enjoying I think as well it's going to be an exciting day the atmosphere is going to be amazing um, we're going to Cairns, we're going to see my brother, we're going to see my family. It's it's going to be fun and I'm just excited to, to get it done. Um, so we'll see how we go, but excited, excited to be able to say that I have done my first half marathon. Before I am wake up to fly to Cairns and then we will get there about 8.20 um, and then check into our place, see some family, and then get our day started. I've literally packed more food and clothes. Flight. Yeah, very nice, thank you. Two hours from Brisbane to Cairns, and it's, uh, it's hot up here, it's humid. Um, so, yeah, just uh, breakfast and having a coffee. 
just our little humble abode for the next few nights. Kitchen, which is the way to our hearts. You're about to go for your shakeout run. Yeah. Yep. What are you gonna do? Probably sleep. Mm. Didn't sleep well last night at all. No. But I need to do a um, 25 minute shakeout run. 25 minutes. Yeah, about 25 minutes. Are you just gonna go around this area? I'm just gonna go around the 200 meter block. <laughs> See how many times I can go around in 25 minutes. Yeah. I don't know, I might bump into like a friend. Yeah, you might. Um, and then we're gonna go down to the Esplanade at 1.30, check in and meet up with my family. Yeah. So we've got like, more, we got 11 gels for tomorrow. Because I'm taking six on my half marathon. Oh, my marathon, sorry. Georgie's taking three on her half. But the thing is... Who's getting what? Well, we've got nine Mortons, which we fucking love. And they are the fucking goat. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's mine. One, two, three. And then what I was thinking is like... We're both gonna have these little bad boys before the race. Oh wow! I love that idea. Yeah. So <laughs> Look how many carbohydrates are just on this fucking. How many carbohydrates? Thing? So that's 25, 50, 75, 100, 150, um, 200, 25. It's about 25 as well. 275 grams of carbs. It's actually that. That's actually not that much. Two in the morning is I have 80 grams of oats. Um, yeah. You have 60, which I know my 80 is approximately like 50 grams of carbs. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, and yours would probably be about 40 to 45. So that. So we're so getting about 100. Yeah. Wow. But in the grand scheme of things, it's actually not that much. Like if you think about it, we should be eating like 300 grams of carbs on a daily yeah. like if you're cut, just trying to cut though yeah and that's if you're just like doing regular everyday yeah. stuff so that's not that much i'm excited though yeah but well, we might find some other gels and shit at the um event today morton sponsor us please yeah. i beg you just making some lunch mm. on the menu today we have ross tuna and rice. Do you think we spend more money on tuna or coffee? Coffee? Mm, yeah, true. One thing about James is that he, what? from what I'm aware, has always had the same tuna. And it's, what's the brand? Um, Serena. Serena. And it's like double the price of any other channel. Yeah, it's like better than any other channel. It has more. According to who? Yeah, they say because of t like because you're eating from the tin, you actually get you're actually eating some like tin. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm getting extra tin. Oh. What? Georgie, you're too strong. Oh, no. What are you gonna do? I'll do it. Don't, you're gonna cut yourself. Big bowl of goodness. How good does that look? I reckon I'll be able to eat it quicker than you. Nah, no way. I reckon. No way. It's on. Um, yep. What's up? We're uh, going down to the uh, race precinct as a call it uh, to check in and get our um, bib and I don't know race little kit checking out all the competition checking out everyone that that takes something like this so seriously I just can't wait to see people just warm up with high knees and star jumps tomorrow morning going back to people taking 
a event race fitness seriously that came across very poor from from my end because of course you can take your a race competition seriously however my one of my pet peeves is is seeing someone who um, is going out for a fun run or a high rocks and just they're just like so in their own head and you can tell their whole vibe has changed due to the competition and then afterwards they're totally happy and Larry and uh, I know people do um, different things to get prepared but it's just funny to see people take take things so seriously to the point where you can't really even have a chat to them anyway just wanted to clarify that We've decided we were discussing our transportation to the race tomorrow morning because um, it's about a 30 minute walk to the start line and I'm sure there's shuttles or something but to make it a little bit more exciting for us at 4.30 in the morning we're going to um, ride electric scooters to the start line. Yeah. Um, so tonight or this afternoon we're going to collect them, park them in our accommodation so then we're ready to rumble tomorrow morning. I do not recommend this product. It tastes like shit. No, it's awesome. It tastes bad. I just love it. It's so good. Well, each to their own but it doesn't taste nice. Yes, it does. I really like it. I do not like it. Well, but... I mean, it's good for you. You know what they say. They say, when it rains, it pours. Yep, that's what they say. vegetables and a hot chalk instead of fresh vegetables and fresh salmon um, and all the good stuff so it will still be nice food's food at the end of the day but we have some reese as well some reese yeah yeah some reese you reckon that's enough yeah that's plenty I reckon you have to vote whose looks better mine mine's definitely better or James's mine is better Mine definitely looks better. Mine looks like it. Our Duh. version of a uh, Pokey Bowl without the resources. From cans. From cans. Hallelujah. Got the oats and coffee. And now James. <laughs> is this your pump up song? Yeah, it is. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Did you sleep alright? We went to bed at like... What time seven. was it? It was like 7.30. I think oh. I got... Oh, I think I got to sleep like past 8, but... 
because it was so early I couldn't see it properly, but... Did I snore? No. Mm. Not that I noticed. That's good. And then you got up at 3.45 to prepare the food and coffee and I got up at 4. Yeah, she had a little sleep in. <laughs> Georgie has found her theme song for the day. Do you have any... Idea? Idea of what it could be. How many guesses do I have? Two. Okay. Um... Um, Shakira hips don't lie. <laughs> no. Damn it. That's a good guess, though. Or, um, Forever by Chris Brown. No. Damn it. Alright, here we go. What is it? Why not? Yeah, why not? She was a boy, she was a girl, can I make it in my obvious? She went home, she did ballet. Oh, that's definitely ballet. <laughs> Martin. Mm. Martin. Martin. Mexico. Mexico. See you in two hours and 58 minutes. I'm second in the marathon. Ritsura, congratulations. Very fast. Thank you so much. Uh, I did it. And uh, this marathon's time, my personal best uh, in life. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, two hours 45. Milk it a little bit. <laughs> well done, buddy. Time's not important to Nick, is it? Well done. Go James! Go James! Okay, well done, James Kelly. That was an effort. Yeah. Good effort though. Good fucking yeah. great effort. Good three hour training session. Georgie girl doing her first half marathon in one hour and 50 minutes. Absolute beast. Absolute beast. Great uh, morning out. And uh, celebrating with two bacon and egg toast. And a fresh juice. juice. Um, but no, it was a good event. How are you feeling from your, what is it, like three, no, more, five hours after your first half marathon? I'm feeling good, on top of the world. I am? Yeah, my yeah. legs are starting, well, feeling quite sore, my hips. Did you think you were going to um, do what you did? No. I Not that I was doubting myself, I just didn't think I had it in me to be able to um, do some two hours, let alone like 150. I honestly thought that like... Yeah, but it's funny because because I know and understand running a little bit more than you, um, analyzing like your uh, training over the last six weeks, right? Mm. I knew for, especially the last two weeks, I knew, I knew you were gonna do a 150. I just That's knew, so like, crazy. Yeah, I should have actually recorded that beforehand. Yeah, like, just I to... actually thought, you were gonna actually do like one, 150, 151. And it was just like knowing and understanding what you were doing in, in training, how you felt in training. Yeah. Um, Overall, so yeah. like, I was, like, I'm just so happy with like how it went, not even the time, like not time, just in terms of how I felt. Like obviously it was hard as expected, but it was, I knew I did everything I could have done. Like I gave it my all, yeah, if that makes yeah, sense. Your first 5k were like 4.30 splits. Yeah, and like I like I honestly get, like could, couldn't have, I could, can't turn around and say I could have ran harder or done more and um, yeah. 
and like we were saying yesterday our main thing was just being able to wake up today and um start the race feeling our best yeah and i can say that i did not have anything like that i could have done felt better i couldn't have felt better if that makes sense yeah Happy Monday! How are we? Well, yeah, not bad. Busy. Fucking busy. So busy, it's not funny. Monday mornings are just so busy. Kens. Here we go. We're actually, I'm actually feeling, I'm sore, but I'm actually not too bad. Have right. you done your high knees this morning? No, I haven't. I'm done. Destination. We'll have a our first um, coffee rating today as well. Oh yeah. yeah. We're introducing a new segment. Segment to the uh, vlog. V uh, log. People call them vlogs, but I call them vlogs. <laughs> Um, mine is a five. 
five. Wow. You want to know why? Why? After taste? The taste, well, the taste, the, the, let me get to the main point. I am I really like a long black and I like to sit there, as you know, because like I get a little bit cold and it like keeps me warm. This is not fucking cold. This is not hot, I mean. It's not hot enough. Sorry, did I? Did yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's I, not hot enough. Yeah, it's not hot enough. That's why I've drank it so quick. Yeah. And that's a big issue for me. Right. Taste? Could be better. So but the main issue. The heat. Is it's right. Yeah, yeah. So it's Sorry, not it's the part. flavor. But oh, the, well, like the flavor, like it's not the best flavor I've ever No, had it's not. Ever. No, but it's okay. But also, be the interesting. Aftertaste, if, I actually do know what you mean about the aftertaste. Yeah, it's a little bit of a. Like a it's a single origin, by the way. It's like a. Um, like a bitter. Bitter aftertaste, bitter. Yeah. Bitter aftertaste. yeah. Interesting. But, um. Overall well, scores 7.3. Five. 7.3. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Welcome to our our first coffee critic segment. Do you order? What are you getting? What are you getting? The Mr. Beep. Cheers, big ears. Yours looks better than mine. This is watermelon, pineapple, strawberry. Yours is beetroot, carrot, ginger, celery. Yeah. Has it been over 24 hours since um, the marathon yesterday? And um, on reflection, um, just quite frankly, I'm very, very happy with what happened yesterday. I guess, as Georgie probably told you yesterday, um, we only had like five, five and a half weeks to actually properly train for the half marathon and marathon. Um, and to be able to go from high rock specific training straight into marathon training was very um, surprising for me. I was able to adapt very quickly. Um, but I think that's just a matter of, or that's due to my consistency over time over the last five, six years and just training in general, whether it is long distance running or functional fitness stuff. So, um, but yeah, ended up, ended up going out and doing the first half at a 127, which was about a four, 07 pace, so I was on track for a sub three hours. I was actually on track for like a 255. Um, but if you guys have ever run a marathon, you'd understand that the marathon doesn't start till the 35k mark. And I was holding good pace until about the 36 kilometer mark. And slowly but surely, the marathon started taking control of me rather than me controlling the marathon. So got to the point where it was literally like 500 meters to go. And um, I could, I was looking at my watch, it, uh, it was about 2.58 um, and um, I was like, all right, it's gonna be a bit of a sprint finish to get under the three, three hour mark. And all of a sudden I tried to take off a little bit harder and my hamstring just went um, in terms of just a huge cramp in my left hamstring. And uh, it was just one of these moments where I was just like, fuck you, marathon, you, you got me here. So I ended up obviously hobbling the last 500 meters and ended up going in at uh, three hours and 53 seconds. So, but it is what it is. Like I'm super happy with what happened. Um, very, very good, um, very good day and very good weekend. Hey? Like, um, I kind of, kind of look back at it now and uh, think to myself, well, if I can do a three hours pretty much on the dot with five 
five weeks of training, I could do much, much uh, better with a lot more preparation. But what's next? Uh, straight into High Rocks. Straight into High Rocks preparation. We've got four weeks into High Rocks Sydney, and uh, I'm very, very excited. Thank you.